Good morning. Good morning. I'm just going to lower it down a wee bit, even though what's behind me is probably more important than my face. Good morning. Good morning. So good to see you this morning. I am currently in my kitchen because it's still rainy outside. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'm going to get outside again. I'll find a spot this week to be outside. Good morning, Shane. First one in. First one in. Good morning, Paul and Sue. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Donna. So nice to see you this morning. Good morning. Yes, look at us just joining in. Good morning, Lori. So nice to see you. Yes. Is it raining in Stroud? Good morning, Rebecca. It's so nice to see you this morning. And good morning, Greg. Wow, you guys logged on at the same time. Uh, good morning, Susanna. So good to have everybody with us this morning. And good morning, Beth. It's only been 10 hours since I saw you last. Yes, good morning, Tanya. And good morning, Sandy. So nice to see you yesterday. Yes. Yes, good morning. And good morning, Rick and Marlene. Good to have you with us. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Rob. <gasps> This is one of my favorite parts of the entire day, is just seeing y'all check in. Good morning, Leanne. Not raining in Stroud. All right, Rick and Marlene, is it raining in the, in the West End? Good morning, Lynn. Ooh, this is exciting. Uh, good morning, Jane. Oh, so nice to see all of you this morning. So good, so good. So Lynn, is Sadie up? Has she had her walk yet? Look at all these people hopping right on at seven o'clock. So good. So very good. Yes. So I actually looked ahead at the weather report and I was like, uh, a little rainy. Uh, good morning, Al. And uh, I thought, well, I better wait to go out. So I know I'm not going to melt because of rain. Good morning, Karen. Uh, not yet. Really, I could have been out. It's wet here, but maybe not wet enough to have kept me inside. Uh, good morning, Jen. Not yet. She and Henry are still asleep. Wow. Late risers today. All right, my dear, dear friends. Good morning, Diane. Good morning, Brenda. So nice to see you this morning. I am looking forward to the day when we can just all like gather around together. Good morning, Alicia. So good to see you. <laughs> yes. And good morning, Oakley. In case Oakley's up, my guess is he's probably up too. Yes. Well, here we are. Gathered in my kitchen. Good morning, Joyce. Yes. Good morning. Uh, and uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to be in the kitchen today was because of what is written behind me. And because uh, we're on this abide challenge from Sunday, us getting to know God more. And A was ask, um, like ask God to help us get closer to him. And then believe, um, I believe but help my unbelief, that was yesterday. And that was a that was a toughie. Good morning, Kayla. And because uh, sometimes it's just really hard to believe, really hard to believe. And then uh, I'm so glad Oakley is with us. I just I love the image of a wee one just taking in uh, what it means to be a part of a church family. Um, and so today we're on I, which is invest more time in God's word. And meditating on it so investing Wow Jane okay so Jane just I'm not sure if you can see this she said I just prayed that this morning Psalm 1 this is why I love God okay this is why I love God this is why I spend time with God's people because God knits things together he works things together for our good he encourages us through community so today is investing more time in God's Word and meditating on it and What's interesting is Jane probably could do a much better uh, chat on what I'm going to talk about right now, but that word invest, right? We often think of investing 
um, when it comes to money and the reason why we would invest money why we would put money away is so it can actually work for us and be a benefit to us later on in the future and there's a cost to it all right there's a cost to it right that means if I'm investing money it means I don't have to spend it now that means I'm not going to be able to buy something or spend it on a vacation um, because that's for a later use though I can draw on it for my future benefit and so I find it very interesting that the word for today is invest more time in the Word of God and meditating on it and that idea of investment means there is a cost like to, to invest more time in the Word of God means to actually spend time reading it reading it like opening it up and and meditating on it now what's interesting is the word that is in the rest of that right invest more time in the Word of God and meditate upon it so that is right there from someone uh, his his delight is in the law in God's law and he meditates on it day and night and what's interesting about that word meditate is it's actually linked to um, Isaiah so I've been reading this book called eat this word by Eugene Peterson and it's about just uh, scripture and how we're supposed to read scripture and he he unpacks this word meditate and he likens it well it's actually linked to uh, Isaiah 31 4 and it says as a lion growls a great lion over his prey and that is the same word as the Greek word or the Hebrew word in um, Psalm 1 which is meditate which actually means like um, I want you to get a picture of like a lion with his bone or a dog with his bone okay what does a dog do with his bone he like gnaws on it and he like licks out all the little portions and you you can't you can't get that bone away from him like he's not gonna give it up right he is committed to that bone and getting every source of nutrients out of it and so he licks it clean and then he chews on it and gnaws on it and it's eventually it's it's gone but that's what this word meditate means it means to like when when you are when God says to meditate on his word it literally means like to lick it lick it clean to to take it all in for every ounce that it's worth and and to do that means investing time investing time you have to invest time in the Word of God in order to get all of that that information out of it and why why is it that we want to invest time into the Word of God I look one of my <laughs> I know you're gonna be like Jen so one of my I gotta get rid of this alert on my phone uh, it's gonna tell me it's gonna rain uh, one of my favorite chapters is Psalm 119 I know Leviticus my favorite book one of my favorite chapters Psalm 119 because it's all about meditating on God's Word and what happens when we actually choose to meditate like to to sit with it and like get all the nutrients out of it so Psalm uh, 119 I didn't remember my cheaters oh look at that it says how, so Psalm 119.9 says, How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. I will seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. So the ESV says, How can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I'll praise you. Let me not wander from your commandments. So that's asking God to help us not to wander. I have stored up your word in my heart. Sounds like an investment, doesn't it? I have stored up your words in my heart that I might not sin against you. So the reason why we store up God's word in our heart, why we invest in it, why we um, meditate on it is so that we don't sin. One of the major reasons why we uh, meditate on the word of God. So we put, we, we I want to say create storehouses of God's word in our heart so that we don't sin against him so we can experience the fullness of life that he has but it's also that we get to know God more right and so that's what all this week is about it's about abiding in Christ so if we want to get to know God more then we need to be actually willing be willing to invest in that relationship 
the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and the way that we get to know God is by investing time in our word, in his word. And it's the same when you start dating someone, right? Like to get to know them, you spend time with them, you message them, you call them, you spend time with them, you ask questions. That's this, that's what this today is all about. Investing in your relationship with God by spending time in his word by spending time in his word and meditating on it, ruminating on it. And it is going to cost you, all right? It's gonna cost you. This isn't about a, like a one sentence, um, just, oh, the word of God's living and active period and just walking away. No, it's like holding that, holding that and meditating on it. The word of God is living and active. What does this mean? What does it mean for me? What does it, you know, how do I apply it to my life? Um, so I want to encourage you today to be uh, like a dog with a bone when it comes to a passage of scripture. I want you to invest time into reading the word of God today for future benefit so that you can get to, God, get to know the Lord better so that you won't sin against him so that when temptations come it's like that word comes out and it changes your life it changes your life when you make that effort when you make you know when you store up God's word in your heart when you invest time into it when you meditate on it day and night it changes your life and it changes the way you interact with people with your family there are so many benefits to storing up God's word in your heart, to investing in it. But more importantly, it's so that you get to know God more and how much he loves you. So I encourage you, um, maybe even to set a timer, maybe you've never spent time with the Lord before in that way, reading his scripture, meditating on it. Um, I wanna say growling over it like a dog or a lion with their bone, right? Like just taking it all in for yourself, um, letting nothing get past you. So if you haven't done that before, I encourage maybe just set a timer, 10 minutes, pick a, a verse of scripture. Maybe you even want to start with Psalm 1, Psalm, right at the beginning of Psalm. Psalms is a great place. Maybe you want to start in Psalm 119 where it's all about God's word uh, and how powerful it is. Or maybe you want to start in Matthew, at the beginning of the New Testament. But set a timer. Say, okay, for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to... I'm going to read God's word. I'm going to meditate on it. Maybe it's, um, and then asking yourself at the end, what stood out to me? That's something I often do. In fact, every day I do it. Um, okay, what stood out to me from that passage? And Lord, speak to me. Speak to me through your word. Help me to understand it. Help me to grow closer to you. Help me to store up your word in my heart so I won't sin against you so that my relationship with you and others can be so full and amazing. So I encourage you to do that today, to invest time in God's word and meditate upon it. And I guarantee you, your investment will reap great rewards. All right, let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for an opportunity uh, to hang out together for these few minutes. But Lord, would you help us to meditate on your word today, to make the investment, to make the sacrifice of time so that we can build that relationship with you so we can learn how to abide in you more and so lord would you help us to um would you protect that time with you today would you protect that time with you today that we would spend time in your word getting to know you more and more oh lord and the sweetness that comes from the relationship with you is so good I pray this in the mighty name of Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, my dear friends. So tonight is prayer meeting at 730. So I look forward to seeing you all there. And until then, have a great, great day. Bye.